Hey guys, um, a lot of you wanted me to do more patch designing videos, so um, I'm going to do kind of a follow-up video to my Keyscape in Omnisphere 2 video and just show you um, a bunch of new tricks and tips um, that hopefully inspires your creativity and gives you some ideas of what you can do with this Keyscape Omnisphere combination. Um, in the background you can probably see my OB ambient pads. I'm kind of doing a subliminal promo with it in this video. Well, I guess it's not really subliminal anymore that I've told you. <laughs> but anyway, um, let's get on to this patch designing. Okay, let's do what we did last time and sort everything just by Keyscape library. Uh, let's go to pianos. I'm going to use this wing upright again. I really like the piano because it's got a lot of character to it. Um, so let's use that one. Now the first thing I'm going to do is pull down this velocity sensitivity. Um, now what velocity sensitivity does um, is it limits the volume range. Um, kind of like a compressor but a more natural way. So basically it's bringing up the lower samples, um, bringing them up in volume. I'll give you an audio example of what it's doing. It's with it all the way to the left and then the other extreme. See how on the second one you could hardly hear um, the low velocity notes. So I like to have it around there just to bring up the low velocity notes a little bit more um, so they don't get lost in the mix. Another way you could do that is actually compress it. Um, but you probably know that compression actually has a specific sound to it. And if you don't want that sound, you want it more natural sounding, this is a great alternative. Um, we do use a lot of compression actually on our pianos, but more for young and free style praise songs where we want it a bit more rocky and that kind of compressed sound. Um, I'm going to put a little bit of reverb on it this time, not too much. Cool, just a touch, it just makes it sound a little bit bigger. Um, EQ we'll leave here, compression we're going to leave off. I think we're good. Um, now what I'm going to do is copy this part go to slot 2 and paste it. So what I've done is just basically copied all the settings I just tweaked and changed um, including the piano and put it in slot 2. Easy. Okay, um, now I'm going to put that reverb that I put on the other one um, into here. Let's go with the Zion Reverb Medium Chorus. Go back to the mixer. I may be I might not put a full amount on it. Let's try it there. Um, otherwise it gets a little bit too much. Okay, let's solo this and do with and without to show you the difference. Okay, um, the next thing I'm going to do, go to stack mode, turn this on and select velocity. So what I'm trying to do here is I only want the second piano to come in at a velocity higher than 109. So if I play some notes, you'll hear that it only comes in when I hit it really hard. Um, and I also peaked, so I need to bring the volume back to give myself some headroom. Okay, now let's go to the second one here. And let's put this up an octave. So now when I hit it hard, it's going to bring a second piano in um, an octave above. I'm losing it here. Let's bring it up a little bit more. Perfect. Um, now I'm going to put that ping pong delay that I was using in the other video just on um, the second one. But I'm going to do it a little bit different this time. I'm going to go to mixer. Auxiliary 2 is where I'm going to put it. I won't want that much. Um, auxiliary 2. Uh, what am I looking for? Delay. I was already on it. Um, here we go. 1 8th. And we need to put this up to 100%. And um, because we're mixing it in um, the mixer page and not um, that page. Great, sounding good. Okay, um, actually before I put a pad in, um, I'm just going to EQ in the top end like I did in the other video. I still think it needs to cut through a bit more. So let's go here, let's put the same one I used. Uh, what am I looking at? EQ. It's actually 12.30am um, 
in Sydney, so my brain's getting a little bit tired when I'm doing this video. Okay, let's see. 10. Your 9.5 sounds good. I think it was around about 300, so that sounds good. Well, I think it's going to sound good. Um, EQ again. Perfect. Okay. Now I'm going to add that pad in. So what I'm looking for in a pad is I want this one to be really mellow, um, warm and mellow, and I don't want it to be velocity sensitive because when I play the piano louder, I don't want the pad to get louder as well. Um, I'm going to search for one of my ones because I know I've got one like that. Um, DigiPad here. This is from my Pete's Multis. Um, I've also got the mod wheel pre-mapped on this one to open up the low pass filter. So I'll just play a chord and open that up and show you kind of what it does. Um, but for this example, all I'm wanting is a pad that covers that low warm end. So I'm not going to move that mod wheel up. It's a little bit too loud, so I'm going to bring it back. Let's try that. Yeah, it sounds good. Could you give it a touch more? I think I'm getting close to um, peaking now that I've EQ'd the pianos too. So I'm going to bring the pianos back just a couple of dB just to give myself some more headroom. Um, there we go. Let's try that. Great. Um, that's sounding good. Um, Instead of putting a top shimmery pad in here, I'm actually going to use the shimmer pads from my OB ambient pads. So this one will cover all the warm stuff and my OB ambient pads will cover the top end high shimmer stuff. Um, okay, let's try something with that combination. Um, on second thoughts, I'm going to bring the volume of the second one down a little bit more. I don't want it to stick out too much when I play those high velocities. Okay, let's try that. <laughs> 